Hey Golf Gang and welcome to Diablo 3 Season 28 update. Um, we are about, well, it's technically day three. It came out on Friday, my time, in the evening. Uh, we are now on Monday morning, AM. So it technically it's calendar day four, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, technically calendar day four. Anyway, let's get over the semantics. Where are we at? Well, at the moment, this is my non-seasonal progress on screen. So let's just get into the season and go from there. So at the beginning, we were playing our barb. And we did a lot of the season journey on the Barbarian because I find doing the Master journey a lot easier on the Barb than any other uh, class in the game. So we did the Barb, we've got most of the season journey done, let me just spend these uh, Paragon points, there we go. So our seasonal journey is done, uh, we did chapter 1, 2, 3, 4... We've done Slayer, we've done Champion, we've done Destroyer, we've done Conqueror, and the only thing left on the Guardian is uh, complete three conquests. Conquest wise, what we did, whoops, wrong button, this one, season conquests, is we did the three legendary gems to 65, and we did uh, reach greater lift 55 silo with the bonuses of six of the following sets. So we did Immortal King, which is the um, Barb one, Might of Earth, another Barb, Legacy of Acre, Barb, Wrath of the Wastes, Barb, and then the new Barb one, Horde of the Ninety Savages. After that, we then switched to a Crusader, leveled a Crusader up, and just so got enough gear to do a uh, seize a. GR55 on the Armour of Akan. Now the Seder Armour of Akan set is one we are using Bombardment skill which is barrels flying through the sky, landing on the floor and exploding. So we did that, we got that quest done. Uh, the only one left really for me to do is this Need for Speed and to be honest I haven't tried doing it yet. Uh, I did, did a couple of goes with the barb. Um, but let's go back and, and see where we're at now. This barb is basically it's done um, I don't know why she's still got that for let's just sell that there we go. Um, it's been stripped down all the gear is gone uh, either trashed or waiting to be sent over to non-standard I do a lot of play testing in non-standard bit like Path of Exile uh, so this character is just sits there and this is the one I always rebirth for the season start literally to get the master set dungeon done in my opinion having played all of the classes in all of their sets that have a master set dungeon the barbarian immortal kings master set dungeon is the easiest one to do other people have different opinions that's mine so i'm always going to be starting barb just to get that master set dungeon done so to drink while we swap characters I've also created a necromancer. The only reason to create this necromancer is for the follower. A lot of the uh, rifts require an enchantress, or a lot of the things now require enchantress, which is intellect based stuff. Uh, so I created a necromancer um, as a starter weapon, gave it the Loch Dunnan Storm Shield just because it looks cool. Um, and this is the one that's been doing all my rerolls. It is literally, as you can see, level one. It's not done anything. It was created in town, and it just does rerolls and um, yeah, does the reforges to get any gear that I drop into intellect for the enchantress follower. So that's that. Now, after playing armor of a Khan on the Crusader, I kind of got stuck. So we are, in fact, now a Seder main. <laughs> yep. Um, we tried doing um, uh, command uh, Arkan, and it just it got so far, and it started to fail. I was die procking, procking all my anti-death stuff. Um, I had a full set of uh, gear. Um, as you see, I'm the only thing I'm really missing is the Seeker Light gloves. I just like to keep sets just in case. Um, so we have been playing around with Seda and this is where we're at now. You can see the seasonal journey is done. 
Uh, if we go to Act 1 and find our altar, There we go. So we're at the moment we're we're fishing for 300 souls. I keep spending them on new gear. Uh, this is how my altar looks. Again, I'm mainly a bounty player, uh, so the altar thing has been spec for um, running bounties more than actual rifting. I'm now slowly filling out the rifting stuff. Um, so we are here. We've got. If I just alt tab over to the other one. Uh, 300 souls to do, then it's the 1500 blood shards, uh, whisper of atonement, augmented weapon, staff of herding, 1600 blood shards, and then the, the final three potion things, which I'm given to understand you need to sacrifice primals for, for primal dust, and do it that way. I did do the ancient puzzle ring, I cheated, I uh, got a puzzle ring, I had two trash primals which got sacrificed in the all great glory, and then I used page 11, this new recipe, one legendary item, puzzle ring, eight 100 primal ashes, threw the puzzle ring in there, got the primal, sacrificed the primal to the altar. It was <laughs> done. I've got my staff of herding, that's ready to go. I did a couple of primal screens with the clan I'm in this morning, so we've got the Whisper of Atonement down there. Um, augmented weapon, oh god, no, I've trashed it. I had an ancient bovine bardich, which I then augged, um, and I've trashed it. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to, have to go and do that again. I can't believe I did that. Oh no, that's all right. I'll level up this pain enhancer because it's a useless gem now. I'm not playing the barb, I'll get 15 levels on that. Um, probably do some, I don't know, something, gems, probably do dex gems, throw it on there and waste it on the, uh, another bardich as soon as I find it, or an ancient something I've got laying around and, uh, <laughs> sacrifice it, I can't believe I trashed it. I wish there was something on the weapon that shows you or highlights somehow that it's org, so you don't trash it. Um, that's something I need for later. So yeah, I've got my uh, Whisper of Atonement, I've got my Staff of Herding, I did have my Augmented Weapon. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's just that my list, I need to do that. There you go, I no longer have an Augmented Weapon. I'll uh, work on that today. So what we've been doing is fishing for gear and getting all the setups done on the Seda. I am using the uh, Fist of Heavens set up at the moment. So I'm currently in the um, GR speed. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm in the GR speed. I've just uh, put my gems on. I'm running Nephilim Rifts at the moment, but I don't have the correct gear for Nephilim Rifts. So I've got my Scream setup done. So this is all ready to go to farm some more Screams. Um, that's all ready to go. I've got my Bounty setup done. That's all ready to go. I got my push gear done. It's not augd or anything like that. As you can see, it's just pretty much ancient gear, or most of it's ancient gear, some of it's ancient gear that I've uh, done or crafted, which reminds me I need to spam Captain Crimson's waders. Um, and I'm um, slowly getting there. So yeah, and then obviously this is the DR speed setup, which I'm, I've done as well. All, all based off of max roll, none of the builds are as per, I have uh, have tinkered with them and changed them, um, just because I can. Uh, let's, um, I'm not going to do a GR speed because the speed gems are only just ranked up to 25, I did that before, but I can do a push. Have I got greater keys? I hope I do. Yep, two left. Right. I don't know how this is going to go. This is the first time we have tried a GR90, and because of that, I'm not going to org it either. Uh, just, how uh, do I? Well, I've got the gold. Well, why not? Uh, this is the first time I'm pushing this build to this high level, so let's see how embarrassing it gets.
I'm not going to be talking too much during this because it's the first time I've done um, a GR this high on this build and I really would not like not to die so I can get that extra gem proc be wary of the fat man just because of the explode potential hitting those oculus rings from the follower I've got the wrong follow on for this as well and the wrong equipment I've um, got a Templar for GR push that I've specced I prefer the Templar for the pushes rather than the Enchantress more healing that poison's gonna hurt and we're doing well so far Oh, I didn't show you what I'd picked on the um, altar. I'll go back and do that in a minute, which is why it explains this is possibly a bit harder than it needs to be. Oh, that hurt. Got my skills on the wrong bars as well. Acrats are supposed to be like right click with the uh, thorny shield on left click, so I get permanent, almost permanent uptime. No, okay, there it is. No, there we go. Collect some healthy bits. Get rid of the spark tower because they're dangerous at this level. <gasps> oh, there it goes. Right, one death on cooldown. I've got my own personal one to go as well. Plus the one from Akarats. Just while the uh, Oculus thing was there. I was a bit worried when I saw my uh, Akarat's death proc, but I am uh, quite happy about that. We'll go through the gear in a minute. Let's just pick it up and uh, get out of here. Right, let's put our trap top. I should have put Zyze. I should have put Zyze. Never mind. Now that I can do it, albeit not that fast. Uh, at least I can do it again. So let's see what we got. Oh, we got Ramadan with Doom Long Cube. Oh, stop moving. We've got a cube. Nice. And doesn't look like much else. So well, we've got a cube. That makes two. Let's see what we get. Trash. 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 I need that for one of my builds. I need that for non-season. Trash, 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 and the set item also trash. Right, follow. Item. Yeah, I've got a bank of stuff to go to non-seasonal, and that I'll need for later as well. Right, uh, spend the paragon point. Do I had multiple? There we go. Um, right. 
Let's just go back to the altar and I'll show you what we've done with my altar. Bearing in mind, I main as a bounty farmer and not rifts. So we've got gateway, we then went down to anointed, obviously, then we went into command. We came over for blood, I went straight down for, uh, what did we come for first, where are we? Here, as a bounty, again, bounty farmer main. So we've got the um, elemental skill damage bonus, which is a travel node really, down for bountiful, over to get the anti-crowd control, over to get game pass ability, down to no we didn't we come across here for 30 percent damage here to get pets pick up dbs and then we went back up and come down here for melee damage reduction there to get double death breaths after that i i don't remember where i went after that uh oh husk we went husk i think we got husk before we went for the dbs actually because that has been so nice Honestly, I wish they would. I know this is a seasonal thing, but I really, really, they hope they keep this in future seasons. If they do any more seasons, of course, with Diablo 4 coming out, I hope they do. Um, a bit like Diablo 2, just keep it ticking over nicely, it'd be great. Uh, so, yeah, and then we've finally got the um, legendary purchase from Kadala. We picked up the dodge chance, we've picked up the orbs, we've picked up. I think that's it because we're waiting for the uh, 300 shards which is coming along slowly um, so as soon as we get the 300 shards we'll take something else I have no idea what I I, I don't know what <laughs> possibly sealed maybe if I'm starting to GR push um, or maybe that one movement speed or bosses yeah, if I can get my 1500 blood shards done, which I think that's just raised my cap, no it hasn't. I need to get up to GR100 one, uh, for now to get the 1500 blood shard cap. If I can get that before I get the souls, then I can do two and get both. Get the um, damage bosses to bosses and then get the movement speed and then I'll get these three as well. So yeah, that's the plans. Hope you found this uh, video insightful and helpful. Um, I'll be doing D3 a lot this week. So there'll be a, maybe a couple more update videos as we go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe in Sanctuary. I will see you in the next one.